hello all of my viewers thank you all for tuning in to my channel indigo waters i am the enchanted one and i have yes another pick a card for you today we want to know what is my heart feeling okay spirit has put it on my heart to prepare a pick a card there are some viewers out there that are having some trouble grounding themselves you're all over the place okay and we just want to know what is the energy of our heart right now what is our heart feeling okay what is your heart feeling so you all know how this go take a second to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and I just want you to really concentrate and focus on centering yourself and your energy. Select the card that calls out to you. You have card one, you have card two, you have card three, and you have card four. The card that calls out to you is the card with the meaning that is meant for you, okay? And I hope you all have had enough time to center yourselves and select your card. Now, let's let the message begin. If you selected card one, this is your message. If you selected card one, your heart is feeling like right now is win or lose. And in the traditional tarot deck, this would be the five of sword. Okay. And right now, some of you, those of you that selected card one is win or lose. Either you are fighting for something and you are fighting an uphill battle it's either we're gonna do this or we are not this is the final straw the last call we are not playing any games i got a sense of seriousness when i first flipped the card over okay i'm feeling like those that selected card one you guys whether it's your job you are tired of being mistreated you are tired of voicing the same um the same concerns over and over again you're fed up this is you're putting your foot down and it's like we're gonna win or lose either we're gonna sink or swim what are we gonna do but right now we have to come to a decision you right now you have to come to a decision it's now or never all or nothing Win or lose. And right now your spirit guides and angels want you to know that the choice is for you to make. Do not give anyone your power. Do not give anyone the authority to manifest and manipulate your destiny. Okay? If you believe, you can win. But if you don't give it your all, you're definitely going to lose. And this is cut and dry. So that's your heart's energy right now. Your heart is calling for you to make a decision, to make a stern decision. Your heart is calling for you to not throw in the towel just yet. To see if you have a little something left in the tank. Okay? To keep going. Give it your best if you're going to give it another shot. If you're not. Let things come to an end. Okay? All right. Moving right along to card two. Those of you that selected card two, this is your message. This is how your heart is feeling right now. If you selected card two, we have well-deserved reward. Okay? So those of you that selected card two, you guys... There's a well-deserved reward on the horizon if it hasn't presented itself. One is about to manifest in your life right now. Some of you have been overworked and underpaid. Some of you have been on the front line since day one. Okay? You don't feel appreciated. Listen, 
Your reward is coming. And I'm picking up that time is of the essence. God works in his own timing. He may not call when you want him, but he'll be there right on time because he is an on-time God. So don't worry. Your spirit guides and angels want you to know that your well-deserved reward is here. Accept it. Don't worry. And for some, I'm picking up on a particular situation. For some, people may be trying to give you money or help you out, maybe buy you lunch or something like that. Don't be too modest and say no. Your well-deserved reward is here. Okay? So keep that with you. Keep that in mind with the upcoming week because I feel like that someone or a few of you are about to receive an overflow of abundance. Your spirit guides and angels are confirming this for you. So congratulations. Rejoice in the Lord. Okay. And remember to give thanks and pay it forward. Karma and life is a give and take situation. Okay. The more you give, the more you get. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I've got a rush of emotion and energy running through my arm. You guys, my arm is shaking. This is a celebration for some as well. <laughs> and in the traditional tarot deck, this would be the nine of cups. This is the wish fulfilled card. You see how this guy is standing on top of this pillar and he's like, I've just conquered this. Maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe it's compared to the feeling that you get or similar to the feeling that you get after you've climbed up a, a mountain or completed a run. Um, Listen, congratulations is all I have to say. <laughs> all right. Moving right along to those of you that selected card three. Let's see how your heart is feeling, what your heart is calling out for you to do, and what the energy is surrounded with your heart. If you selected card three, yes, indeed, we have shine and bass in the light. Let your light shine bright. Some of you have just came through a very dark time and your heart wants you to shine. Your heart wants to shine. You've gone through this major healing process. You've been through all sorts of trials and tribulations. And some of you are shy. Some of you are meek and mild mannered. And right now your spirit guides and angels want you to know that your heart deserves the opportunity to shine after everything you've been through. Okay. There is light shining down on you. God is breathing in your direction. Doors are opening. Miracles are manifesting in your life. And this is beautiful. You have a sense of peace and calmness. And if you don't feel that way now. Continue to rejoice and give praise. Because when praises go up. Blessings come down. Okay. Okay. And this is another wonderful card and I got another wonderful feeling. And I'm picking up that some of you need to pick up or just do a little bit of fine tuning with your sacral chakra and your solar plexus chakra. Okay. Your sacral chakra is the second chakra in your energy center. Your solar plexus chakra is your third chakra in your energy center. Your solar plexus chakra is located in your um, right behind your abdomen or in the middle of your abdomen, right above your belly button, or some say behind your belly button. Okay, and I'm sorry, your solar plexus chakra is responsible for your personal power. Your sacral chakra is responsible for your personal identity. Your sense of self and your con your solar plexus chakra is responsible for your confidence. I don't want to confuse you guys. I don't want the messages to get jumbled up. They come. I get all sorts of words that come to me. Visions. But this is definitely a good sign. This is definitely a positive message and a good omen. Okay, continue to do what it is that you need to do to let your light shine. And for some, I'm picking up that you do not need to let others dim your light. Okay, protect yourself, guard your heart, guard your, your energy centers and your aura. All right. 
And last but most definitely not least, those of you that select a card for it, this is your message. This is how your heart is feeling, the energy that's associated with your heart right now. And we have love. This is beautiful because if you select a card for, if you're not in a relationship, a relationship is on the horizon. There's the energy of love. Some of you may have even just got a new pet. <laughs> this is innocent. That's how innocent this is. This is pure, like a newborn. Someone just found out that they may have conceived Someone may be pregnant. Someone may be giving birth to an idea or a business. Someone just joined a brand new partnership. This is beautiful. Your heart chakra is active. Your heart chakra is flowing and your heart chakra is also open to receive love. That's the message that your spirit guides and angels want you to know. Your spirit, I'm sorry, your heart chakra is definitely open, okay? And your heart chakra is functioning at an all-time high. Continue to expand your consciousness and raise your vibration levels so you can continue to receive the love that the universe has to offer. This is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I think this was a positive message overall, <laughs> Okay, there's new love on the horizon. And for those of you that are in a relationship, if things have not been going right, if things have been a little rocky for a while, your spirit guides and angels want you to know that the transformation period is here. And there is pure and honest love. And it's available. You have to be open and willing to accept that love and then receive and reciprocate. Okay? All right. So thank you all very much for tuning in. I pray that that was insightful and that it helped you guys. This is the overall energy of your heart. Okay. Today we used the love. I'm sorry. <laughs> we used the psychic tarot, psychic and tarot heart <laughs> oracle deck by Mr. John Holland. I love his decks. Um, he has wonderful tarot and oracle cards. They always resonate with me. So I thank you all very much for tuning in to my channel. Again, I pray that this message was insightful and that it resonates with you all. Thank you very much for the support that I'm gaining here. You guys are commenting. You guys are liking the videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much. I definitely appreciate you all. I want to get at least 100 subscribers by the end of April. If I can get 100 subscribers by the end of April, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm definitely going to do something for all of my viewers to show my appreciation. Thank you all very much. Tune in to the next video that we have coming up. And until the next time, I wish you all the peace, love and light. Namaste.